Hello! Welcome back to Bad Debts. We're here at Isra's house, who we've just found murdered. Presumably, our, our friend Tims, who sent us here, uh, actually murdered this guy and tried to frame us for it. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of alerted all the guards in this place, well, except him, I knocked him out. Um, so, it's gonna be kind of awkward getting past them all if I want to take the short way back. Whereas we're up here in the short way back to Tim's place, which is kind of where we want to get to. Um, it's just around here, otherwise we're gonna go all the way around there, which I don't really fancy doing. But, it's definitely a long way to go and people will see us. I'm hearing footsteps everywhere. So at least try and control which angle they hear from. Now the archer is the main threat because he will. Oh, yes. Missed again. Well, I've got lots of these. There we go. Headshot. Oh, he's uh, just alerted, not dead. If he wasn't a headshot. Um, I'm killing him because he's got ranged attacks just like me. I'm, I'm also missing him a lot. Just like me, he's got ranged attacks. And I've, as you can see, I've only got three health left. And I think trying to. Uh, sneak fast on three health is not really going to be a thing. I don't really see any way to get there and knock him out. Oh, who did I hit there? <laughs> Someone on the ground, just randomly. Uh -huh. Whoops! Well, he's he's angry. Oh, he's running this way too. Does he know I'm here? Uh, I was only supposed to be... Lots of activity. I was only supposed to be uh, murdering the one archer and I accidentally uh, missed him. Hit the other swordsman on the ground. And he's come running. I don't know if he's coming running up here, if he realizes I'm up here or not. They're all very edgy. Yeah, he does. He, he knows he's coming from this room. They're very clever for, for a guard. He doesn't know I'm here. Watch out! There's someone in the building. For long. Whoa! They got everybody coming up here. This is not good for me. Just make one mistake. I'm out of flashbang too. Oh, very good deduction, guys. That uh, the arrow must have come from the window there. To be honest, I was shooting enough of them. They probably just saw them all flying through the air. Get back there, you coward! Well, I never left, you know. Uh, they're so on edge that I reckon, unless I'm really careful, I'm going, you know, even trying to knock them out. It's probably going to fail well, badly. I've given up, let's see if I can drop down silently. Nope. <laughs> Don't think you can hide for long! Well, it's pitch black, so he can't see me. I guess that's yeah, my only saving grace there. <laughs> Alrighty. I think that's me going back out the front gate. After giving up the search. Well, we've got someone at the gate. I don't have a way down here anyway, so... Nor anywhere across those windows, so I better go back through the building. And try not to die as I do that. Someone right behind me, like coming down these steps behind me. Uh, I mean, a slight sound transmission error. Got a bunch of moss arrows, I might as well start using them. Oh 
this horrible, horrible, horrible noisy floor. <laughs> ah, question is, will he notice me opening the gate? He won't. Good. Also, what's down this way? Have I been there? I think it might have been down here. Can't remember. Yeah, this is my door. I must have. Oh, what's this? That's right, I couldn't open this one before. Now I have keys. Uh, I've got the user's key here somewhere. Oh, it doesn't open that one. But does it open the other room that was down here? The loot room. Apparently not. Yeah. Alright, if there's a key to those doors, I don't know where it is. Maybe our friend Tim's has it. Either way. Okay, footsteps. Oh, that's the guy patrolling the street. Okay. Sounds like it's going away. Oh, it's still bright here. I thought it was darker than that. Oh! Public works place that I did not go to. So I should explore this while I'm here. Where's my public works key? Well, pub key, public works. What's a way you want to have a sliding door with a lockbox next to it rather than just a door? <laughs> More canals. Anything of value in here? We got downstairs. We got a broken stair on the upstairs. <sighs> hmm. Well, that's an interesting machine. So, magical electrics. Cisco. West. Oh, there's no one in there, is there? No. I mean, it's kind of a... Oh. Half open. Kind of where we're trying to get to is west, but... Um, anything in there? Probably nothing I need. Law Lank Wilder Inverter Type 3 Dangerous condition, Conditions Do Not Frob Well, you know ah! Yeah, okay That was a good warning, right? What if Hang on a second Oh dear, you hear what I hear? Listen to this Is it through the door or is it down the hall? Sounds like it's down the hall actually Yes, it's down the hall Spiders. Do not like. Do not want. Wow, there's a massive public works place. Larger works areas. It's not larger, it's gargantuan. Oh, that's the door I came in. There was another door. Ooh, there's a hammer. Hammer door. Hammers have access to this area. But, it doesn't open. Very odd lamp. So there's two things. One is this passage, which continues on south. Oh, there's this. Well, there's this door. Hmm. I can't use that up. I'm just curious again about this lever. How far away can I prop it from? Ah, it just kills me instantly. All right. Maybe back. Oh fuck! I saved. Oh bloody hell! Well, um. Hmm. Whoopsie daisy.
All right, I guess we're gonna go downstairs again. They're all gonna come down very soon. So I guess I have to do this again. So one of them should return to the gate, and the other ones should just keep patrolling. Or two patrolling, maybe. I really don't know. But I think by now they should all have pretty much given up. Not even coming back to the gate, then. Are they all deciding to patrol? Bad news for me. Cause that's supposed to be my way out. Um, oh, let's save again. Let's see if the save is dodgy. Oh fuck, he saw me. Just through the tiniest crack. Right. Back to my dark room, get on the beds. Where's my dark room? That's not where I need to go. I'll be seeing you again, Chopper. Alrighty. Oh, there's a banner I didn't kill. Let's just I can't. Let's say let's fix that. Alright, let's try and find a different way out, shall we? Uh how about where I first came in? Hammer's patrolling up there now. They weren't there before. What brought them out? And how did I get up here? Oh, that's right. Well, I'll have to leave one of my ropes behind, but that's all right. That might make my uh, exit a little harder though with hammers around, because they're also likely to kill me. Let's just look at the use. Spots. Um. Yeah. I just go right past those hammers to even get to the street where the other guys are. That's not gonna work, is it? He's just look. He's watching the whole street. That's not gonna work. All right, back to. I don't even know if I can get back to the south with them there. That's really odd, because there was no one at all there before, and I thought, you know, they were all inside of me. I wonder, can I get up there, actually? Nope, not like that. Alright, you can climb that thing. Just have to apply it. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? Just some shadows. Oh, what's that? All broadheads, alright, like I needed them. Okay, I think that's probably all that's up here. I can't, can't climb up that, it's too high. Alrighty, let's try this again. Hopefully, I can. Uh... Right, he's returned to his post there. To wait till the patrol moves away. Just to listen to the footsteps. Or rather, the two patrols. Oh, wait. God damn it. This always goes wrong. <laughs> I'm not here! Alright, he didn't see me, he doesn't know exactly where I am. 
I might break. work out to my advantage. I can't believe I lost him. Nah, not me. Can't actually use any equipment over here because I'm kind of not. It's not quite tall enough for me. Come on, coward! Not tall Face enough for me, me to like stand on, so I'm kind of stuck in that weird limbo, sliding around. Come on, mate. Give up. Give up. Give up, then I'll drop down. I'll make a jumping noise. Come out here now! We'll come back to investigate. I'm not kidding. And I'll knock you out. Just like last time. All right. Just wait till I. Oh. Alrighty, one down. Still got an archer friend, but he's not going to go down to a single headshot, is he? So I always forgot about that because they only do that on. I think if they've ever been alerted on if you're on uh, harder up, then they have more more resistance to damage or something. If you're playing on easy, I think you still get high damage headshots off on them. By the sound of it, I'm probably gonna have to make another run for it. Ooh! I think maybe a baby birdie affect me. Yeah. <laughs> I love the way they just make fun of you when you uh, when that happens. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let's try this again. There's a little hacky. A little bit uh, hacky Stop to uh, use. This is what, this is what dark her. rooms are for. Stop yelling, sir. I'm trying to talk. Dark rooms are good knockout picks, pits, traps, whatever. Anyway, even when we knock this guy out, there's still the answer to worry about. Watch this. I'm gonna get suspicious again, and I'm gonna go. Bonk. <laughs> That'll do. Behind you. On the back of the head, if the front of the head doesn't work. Alright. Maybe this time I can get out without dying. Just should remember not to save when I actually mean to load. So let's actually save now. Just in case I make the same stupid mistake again. Play around with that stupid thing and save when I meant to load. Alright, he won't see me right now. I only want to see me going here. So I should check out this first, right? Let's check out this doorway first, see where this goes. Then we'll go back to the pub through the public works and see where that takes us. Uh, no, you can't use the speed potion to unlock a door, Garrett. Surprisingly. Also, I just discovered I've got a hotkey for speed potions that I did not know about. Because again, I'm barely, no, barely able to use them. It's just the same workspace. Does yeah, I was up there before, so I could I could have dropped down here, but I can't climb up here, I guess. Ooh, no switches. Some decided, decidedly tunnely bits. That's noisy. Oh. I can hear the spider again. I don't know if they're down here or up there. Door doesn't open. They're probably down here, you know. Yeah, spiders. Oh, the baby ones. Stairs 
still not quite as bad as the big ones, but I still do not like them one bit. That probably explains why the big one is up there. What do we got here? Machine switched off, so it's thankfully silent. And some ladders up somewhere. Where did these go? Very uh, insecure ladder there. There's no, nothing securing the foot. It's like, you know, odds are it'll just slip out from underneath me and I would fall off to my death. Now that's if it was a real ladder. If it's a thief ladder, then odds are I would just fall to my death randomly anyway. Right, what's up here? More ladders. What is up here? I'm trying to mantling because it looks quiet and <laughs> jumping up the ladder. Oh, is this a... Wait. What is this place? Oh, we're above the square. The square here. Okay. And there's actually three, four ways to go. Ooh, that's a keeper statue. Right, I'm gonna try jumping across, which is a hazardous uh, affair. And uh, we'll probably go with a quick save as well, so just quick load. Let's that's my way. Oh, that's a really narrow passage, so I can't really get a good run. So you can't stand in the passage. Well, let's try it. Nope! Ah! Right, if I don't aim for the corner, I should be able to make it and uh, mantle up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what is to the south? Ladder down to somewhere. Somewhere quiet. Why I get stuck on a ladder? Hmm. I think I've been here, haven't I? No, maybe not. It seems familiar, but it's basically a similar layout to the uh, sorcerer's tomb, I guess. With like a passage that goes in a, in a U shape around the top. Old cobwebbed up public works. More machines, more ladders. Wow. So no end to this place. Machinery that keeps the city running, huh? Oh, that's that's kind of neat. Wonder how many people will actually ever see that. Spiders. That's the same spider, actually. A similar kind of passage. You know what? It is. Yeah, that's the room with the thing I shouldn't touch. Alright. Good to know I'm kind of coming back where I was, but this is getting confusing. What? Where do all these passageways lead? get down. Oh, I can actually get you take a rope and get back up again. Maybe maybe I'll get down safely this way, in fact. This is a way down only because there's no way you could reach that. There's no way, there's no way you could reach the shutters to open them. Uh, 
I still, where are we? I have no idea. Have I been here before? It looks vaguely familiar. But everything looks vaguely familiar in this map. Sure, it must have been, but I don't know where it is. Doesn't this lead up to that same square again? Yeah. Oh, there's more guards around now. This was clear before. What? Oh, no, it's just Lightning Man. That's right, I can't knock him out. That's fine. I forgot. I thought I'd knock him out, but I can't knock him out. I just have to stay clear of him. Alright, now where was that? Uh... Oh, that's right, I'm jumping around up there, I think it was. Where was that thing? A little knock here. Oh wait, what's this door? Hmm. I keep keep getting distracted and finding new places I haven't been to before. Oh, it's the armorers. Or at least the armorers key opens it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the armorers kitchen. I didn't even notice there was a door here. All right, just another back way in. So much for that. Let's get back up here. So now I know where these tunnels lead. Can I get back down without killing myself is the question. Which does mean saving because... Why was it so unreliable? So, because we've got two other passages from the... Upper side of that, uh, the statues above the plaza there, above the square. Two other possible ways to go, which I haven't checked out yet. That's right, that doesn't open at all. Thought I heard something, but it's just rats. <laughs> Alright, so I came from that one. That's the keeper one. And there's another one off to the east. Now, so here is north. Possibly that's the way into the Necromancer's tomb, I don't know. East maybe leads us to the back place, the back reads of Tim's, which is where we're trying to get to anyway. Uh, and if it does, all better. So let's try this one. Ooh, that was close. Just grabbed it by the fingertips. Machinery down there, doesn't sound like a necromantic machinery. Fancy, I can still hear uh, spiders around. I wonder if any of those open. Passage. Machine that's full of water, right? Nothing to do with the machine. Anything hiding behind these crates? Or are they just there for extreme box stacking to get to other secrets that I don't have the uh, patience for? Probably that. Alright, where does this passage go? That's just rats. Another flash bomb. That's good. I've got two now. I thought. What was that two? I didn't think I had any left. Some bottles. Not valuable ones. Broken machinery. Another passageway. It's not, they're not content to just have a dead end of a storeroom. Hmm. I wonder if I can get it through there. Probably not, it looks a little too small. <laughs> it's just there so I can get it there from the other direction and say, oh, there's another room on the other side. Like they did with the shrine. Oh! Oh, right. I, 
I've been here before. No, I haven't. I've been on the other side of a half-open door. The other side of the half-open door I was at before had windows I could look in. This one doesn't have windows. So I haven't been here before. What if I come around? Can I get around this way? Well, I can, you know. Totally can. With difficulty. It's a little tight. Oh. That's ominous. Oh. That's very ominous. Uh, there's a mine there. I don't like that. Let's see if I can set it off with a box. see any way around it. Okay, I can set it off of the box, but maybe not from far enough away. Uh, let's try once more, but possibly I don't have the hit points to survive this. Or perhaps I do, alright. Are there any more? Might well be more. Maybe that's the guy who set off all the others. Let's just hope there's no more. That was nasty, but I uh, could think I was taking it slow and looking as I went down. Let's, there might be one there. Let's take this box and just drop it down the shaft, just in case. Apparently not. So I didn't know the boxes would set off mines before. But for now. So now I know. Oh, this is the keeper place, isn't it? I wonder if it's so uh, well protected. Alright, let's knock down these boards. What do we got here again? Let's check. No explosives? Where's this? It's the whole street. Now I can see up there, keeper signs. Huh. Whole old abandoned street. Interesting. So the keepers have a base here, do they? What the hell is going on with them? Is this gonna be part of my mission? Go there, I could try coming up this roof. I'm not sure if it'll fall off it. <laughs> nope, it's alright. <laughs> mm. Is that wood or metal? Metal. Keep the doors down there. Can I make that jump? <sighs> Just. <laughs> oh, I can get up on those. I wonder if they've got any other anything else protecting this place. Got a fallen statue and a broken sword. Those doors look pretty sh pretty firmly stuck. I imagine. Look at the pile of leaves there. Well, keepers have been here. Question is, are they still here? Oh, a ladder. I'll take that. And um, what do you know? Wooden beams. Uh, 
bits have for me. I hope they don't have any more mines. That would just suck. But it's just the one. Ah, uh, there's a note. What does the note say? <laughs> Dramatic chord. Let's pick it up. Items of value to a total of approximately 800 if correctly liquidated. Deliver percentage to number three. Mistakes have been made with two and four. Falls between currently active areas. Abandonment is suggested at this point. Also received note of mid-profile operations from Western Denmark. Is this verified? And if so, independent or contracted? Could it be related to M and G? Umber eyes. Alright, we're going to go watch you meet. Well, I mean, I'll happily take their loot. Oh, objective complete. Oh, find 1800 loot. Alright. Yeah, we've got 2000 now. Is that all they have here? Yeah, it's a door that's not going to open. This is an old abandoned keeper place, I guess, but uh, they still use it for keeping watch on this part of the city. It's kind of neat. Is there anything on the roof up there? No. It's not going to be. Alright, back to my rope. Uh, let's try the second rope. Very bad idea. But it does mean I could probably get the first one back. Well, if I actually grabbed it before jumping. Rather, right after jumping. Now, can I drop down here safely? No, I don't think so, right? I want my rope. I want my rope. I'm going to try one more thing to get it. Another rope here. Grab that one. And then. Alright, that's fine. Down the ladder. Of doom. Oh no, this one's not doomish. So it doesn't kill me. Can I drop down there safely? I think so. Yeah. Alright. So I didn't check down here. I don't think it's going to be anything. Some doors that aren't going to open. Old keeper statues. Whispers and a uh, half statue there, clearly to hold some kind of secret key to get in. You know, for a place that's supposed to be really secretive, uh, they're pretty uh, big on their symbology all around there, but you know. Maybe they install all the symbols. After everyone uh, gave up. Oh, that's right, I was going to try climbing up those. Oh, nice arrows. It's nice. So, as I say, maybe they install all the symbols after everyone uh, left. After the street was abandoned, so it's just. Oh, yeah, go to, the, go to the old part of town there and collect symbols. God damn it. Garrett. <laughs> Alright, get up there. Just wanna try that one jump. I mean you gotta do this one first, doesn't it? It's alright. I didn't go up here. I wanna see what was up here. If anything. Probably nothing, right? Look like anything, all right. Go back. Well, uh, the keeper's not gonna be very happy with me. I'm taking all their funds. I take the fun out of funds. Haha. Uh -huh. It'd be funny if they met me here and you know tried to stop me or something. God, that's, that's tight. Too easy to get stuck, Garrett's a little too fat. Gotta lay off all those cucumbers, Garrett. All those legs of deer. Alrighty. Just a rat. Uh, this way, was it? And up here. 
have one more passage now to go through. I can hear Lantern Man. Hello. Alright, this has got the secret door as well. By the looks of it. Where does this take me? Rooftops. Piles of water arrows, let's put out the torch. It's too bright. Oh yeah, this is overlooking, uh, this is, I believe, the area where Tim has his house. So it was indeed a back, a back route here. I did come, well maybe not. I did come here before though, there was a guard there. We knocked it out. This must be the place. There's a whole lot of guards there that weren't here before. All downstairs out of my way, of course. This fellow was drinking here. Uh, so where 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 does this road go? Let's hope this road there. T's on north. Oh god, there's no landmarks. Don't know where anything is. So that's a secret door. That uh, as far as I can see, there's no switch on this side. So I came the only way I could have come to get there. House there or something like that. Oh, we're going west. I'm not sure I want to go west. Wait, oh, yeah, that just goes back to the square. Ah. Uh, but that's alright. If we go back to the square, we can go north. I'm not going to bother about this sorcerer's tomb because I'm sure I'd have to fight something. Maybe nice, I'm curious about it. About the Sorcerer's Tomb and how you get there. But I would have to fight something. I don't really have the health for fighting. Oh god, this is a long way around. You know what? It's gonna be easy to go back to the. I'm just gonna find a way down from one of these places and somewhere to stick a rope arrow in. Oh, well, you know, this house is all wood. Alright, let's put a rope arrow in here. I'll have to leave it behind. It does get me down here. What's in that house? There's a guard. Not much, it's all cobwebby. Oh, there's a door we haven't been to. Vines. I think I climbed them before. Yeah, there's a ladder leading up there. So is that our friend Tim's? Ooh. Yeah, I was here before and couldn't open the door. He's apparently quick with a sword. So we want to watch out. Or we want to flash bomb him. We just have flash bombs ready, right? That's my flash bombs, come on. Holy water. Why do I have holy water? Have I seen any undead? Well, it's the one undead that I. Well, there's one dead as well. Uh. Let's try. God, that's a bit nasty. Could... I guess he's paranoid. I guess he knows I'm after him. How am I going to deal with that mine? Oh, I guess I could... Go around it, right? Can I see it? Is there a mine there? Where the hell is it? Oh, sneaky. Look at that. Right there in the corner by the post. That's really sneaky. Well, I guess it makes sense. He would be sneaky. He's just double-crossed <laughs> me and he's, you know, 
probably afraid. The right way. Then I'm gonna sneak up the stairs and come for him. Alright, he's got a lot of these things. So where's that second one? I don't know if it was around there somewhere. God damn it. Can I see the second one? Is it a similar spot? No, I can't see it. There's a... Can't see it at all. I'm trying to jump up and down and see if that will attract him, but it won't. Alright, I don't have a plan right now. Get me in there. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What do equipment do I have? I've got to mine myself, but that's not going to help me. That's my objective, by the way. Search his house for evidence, deal with him any way you like. Okay, so I can kill him if I need to. I don't have, like, a noisemaker that might, uh, attract his attention. I don't really have anything I can throw on the mines either. Let's see if there's any crates nearby. on this side. Okay, we're north of the Eustra's house again. And there's more guards now. Wait, is it a guard? It is, it's an archer. Where did this take me? I've gone up here. Oh, well, that's where it takes me. Alright, I guess I'm not going there. It's quite a good thing then. But I found the back, the secret uh, back way out because there's a lot more archers on the way than I was expecting. It's like he not only double crossed me at the guy's house, but he told the whole city watch I was to be out on the streets here. He was just there, and now he's not just there. Now, where are you going, sir? Turn around and go back so I can get behind you, please. Leave him to find his fallen friend. That's one less out on the streets here. Oh god, I need some uh, crates or something. I guess there's a big pile of crates up near the keeper's place. It's probably the best place for me to go, you know? Collect a bunch of them. There's at least two mines, there's probably more. I'm just gonna need to throw crates all over the shop, I think. Where did I leave my rope? Here we are. Dear, dear, dear. Maybe that's why I got the windows here, so you can look in. Can I see any more mines? You know, who knows? What's his plan for getting out if there's mines everywhere? I don't know. Alright. Alright, let's go collect some crits. Oh dear, we're gonna have to do this jump a lot, aren't we? Alright then, we'll do the jump. How far was it? To get the crates up here. I guess that's why they're all here. Come on, pick it up. Yeah, I can find more carrying crates, okay. Well, I'll just do a run and Gary get, I don't know, let's say four. Four should probably be sufficient for now, right? Try and ferry four of them back and forth. And then throw them about in the house there. Da -da. Come on. It's weird, as soon as I look at it uh, and it highlights, and I press the button, it unhighlights like a fraction of a second before. It's just taunting me. 
Alright, let's get one more. I know there's at least two mines, and I have a feeling there might be three, and the fourth one is then just to keep ahead of me for peace of mind. Um, that's kind of why I'm figuring four. If there's two, there's probably two halfway up the stairs, probably another one at the top of the stairs. I don't know if there's any more. But, it's gonna be fun. Uh, it's that way, isn't it? I think I can mantle while holding something like this. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, I guess I'm holding a crate in my teeth or something like that. We'll just bring these all up here to the, uh, uh, to the secret door. Bury these now. <laughs> Again, maybe this would be a good opportunity to try the whole, oh, you can lockpick mines to disarm the thing, but I, you know, I have no idea how you do that. If I had fire arrows, oh, I do have a fire arrow. Huh. Just say if I had fire arrows, I could uh, shoot them to set them on up. When did I get a fire arrow? I remember wanting one earlier and didn't have it. Odd. All right, so I have another plan: is I can use a fire arrow on various uh, mines if I want. But I've got the crates now; I might as well use them. And uh, maybe I'll use a fire arrow on. Mr. Tim's himself, since he's gone, since he's given me so much trouble, I might give him a little trouble. Well, that said, I've got like two mines myself because I never ended up using them on the uh, guards and the armorers. So, well, I did, but I kept dying and having to reload. So, and one more. I can just make a long map, but it's pretty tight. Stuck. Wait. Was that four already? <laughs> I'm so busy talking, I can't even count. No, it's only three. What happened to the fourth? What happened to my fourth crate? I had four crates. I brought four up the ladder, didn't I? Didn't I bring four up the ladder? Oh, this is the wrong way. Okay. My mistake. Um Yeah. Right, this way to the crates. Oh, the keepers, alright. Yeah yeah, that makes I really wonder what was going on there, yeah, spontaneous uh decombustion uh de whatever. Spontaneous disintegration of crates. Alright, four crates. How do I get them down safely? I can take them down the rope, I guess. If I just drop them, they're gonna, probably gonna break because it's a long way down. So, probably gonna climb down with them. I can barely see my rope in the dark. Alrighty, here we go. Let's not stack them inside because if the mines blow up. Um, and take the crates with them, that would be a problem. <laughs> so I'll just take them down one by one. <laughs> Stack them outside. And then uh, put them to use. So I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't found that uh, shortcut. I would have been really stumped. Like, how did I get rid of these mines? With three health, you know, because of the way they're hidden, I can't even like shoot broadheads at them from a distance. <laughs> trigger them, that's my usual way of triggering mines. Um, I just couldn't get, I couldn't aim, I wouldn't be able to aim there. I'd have to try the fire arrow after discovering I had it and hope that the one fire arrow would set off both mines, but again, they're tucked in little corners. So it really seems unlikely that it would actually set off two at once because its explosion is, you know. If they're sitting in the little corner, every chance they would be shielded, at least one of them would be shielded from the explosion and not go off. Oh. Uh, I, mean, I should have been saving after each one. 
I forgot that repairs could still be um, problematic. It's weird, that didn't used to happen uh, anywhere near as much. I wonder if it's like an old bug that's resurfaced in New Dark or something. But it's been happening to me a lot on these missions. If you've been watching, I can like, get it, get it, grab that thing. You kept grabbing it before. What's wrong with you? Alright. Let's choose the hard way. Oh, climb up there, guy. Okay. Um. Because there was the one mission where I was trying to get in the rope on the pit. Trying to get down a pit. A little well, and it was a really constrained spot for a rope. And it took me a you know, about 20 tries or something stupid before I managed to do it without uh, dying as soon as I grabbed the rope. Thanks, physics. Can you get it, grab it this time? Yes. But, and also earlier when I was trying to get down the rafters in the armor shop, in the same mission, I kept dying there too. So I don't, know, I don't know what it is about the ropes. Uh, I guess, you know, it's trying to reposition my physics collider or something to be on the rope. And when that happens, um, it ends up, you know, sticking it inside a wall or something, and that's what triggers this. Alright, let's do a hard save again because it's been a while. And I'm getting paranoid about, you know, saving over my quick save. Let's trigger this first one. Balls. See, that's why we need more, more, more boxes. It's gonna take two, isn't it? What? What? How close do I have to throw this thing? This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Fuck. Fuckity fuck fuck. Don't even trigger the mine. I didn't even trigger the fucking mine. So much straw up planning. I missed. I missed. Garrett. You know what? All that practicing his aim was all for nothing. Alright. Well, he knows someone's about. I've got one box left. So, can I see that second mine now that I've got a slightly better view? Actually. If I just put this down, let's zoom out first. I can stand on top of it. No, not really. Can I can stand on top of it and get a better view of where that second mine is. Is that is it there in the, that corner too? It doesn't look like it. I really can't see. Maybe it's up there. All right, enough zooming. Well, so much for the boxes. Go slowly. Keep an eye out. I can't see a mine. Where the hell was it? Is there a, wait, is there a little ledge there? Oh god, don't tell me it's on that ledge. Oh, I bet here it is. Not on the stairs. It's on the ledge above me. Look at where the wall ends. Well, maybe it's not a ledge. Hard to say. It kind of looks like it, but maybe it's just a texture. Maybe there's just one around the corner here. I don't know. How oh! It was right there in front of me. Right there. Oh, so it is there. Oh, well, that one I can get with a uh, broadhead, surely. God damn, it's hard to see. Alright, two down. How many more of these damn things are hidden away? Doesn't seem to be one there. Doesn't look like one there. This guy's kind of serious about keeping people away. Alright, it looks like I'm reasonably safe here. It's brightly lit now, so they should stand out a bit better. If 
But who knows, there might well be one in that room. Also, I should have like a flashbang ready uh, in case he sees me. I'll tell you what I can do. Find my mind on my own. Can I throw them all away? Come on. Oh, he's got some loot there. Oh, he's not dead. running away. So, that tells me one thing. First, I can close this door, and that might give me early warning. Second, that tells me there aren't any mines in this hallway, which I was afraid of. Because if there were, he would have set them off. Oh, I think he's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. I got a lot of loot. I'm gonna count to three, so you better come out. One, two. Aha, what's this, a book? I saw Brewster yesterday on the gallows. They are among the thieves in his black coat. He looked bitter now, not like when he threatened to sell me in his inn while his hall was toying with his color. Brewster, always a confident man. Could never imagine he wasn't perfect for a job, any job. Even for a job involving a powerful judge's palace in Hightown and swarm with guards. Perry gave him the tip, the tip I wanted to sell to someone else. Perry was just the first to cash it, and who could fault him? Yet on the same day Brewster received his tip, so did the judge. Quite the dramatist. It is said he received his guest in a toga, even prepared a mock trial. A trial? Not bad. I think not even Brewster thought he'd get a trial when it would be his turn. Heard not even guildsmen get a trial these days, only the tie or the block. Unless it's hammer business, and that isn't better at all. And then here, and then here's Mifflin's. Mifflin's with his good pal Grover. They're gonna hang one day, no matter how clever Mifflin thinks himself, but not yet. Not likely. Too small, and they got the sense not to cut the hands that hold them like Brewster did. Or Garrett, just like Brewster with twice the self-righteousness and half the decency. Garrett, laughing when he heard about the patrician's illicit mint, but checking anyway. And after that, not a coin, not a word, just slander on the street about the job not delivering. All hearty too. Who's he, some warden? In this line, there are always strange customers. Here's the newest one, Tommy the Armorsmith, wishing to see a cobbler from Dog's Run when he had never bought leather there previously. Uh, when he had never bought their leather there previously. Tommy, two of his guards behind his chair, not saying a word, just laughing when I suggested a new boot. Then he said he wanted to know about the guy who tried to rob a friend of his, producing a bag of shiny new coins. There have been no new coins since Blackbrook took those mines back in who knows when, and here he was placing them on the table, one after the other. Did I know who tried to rob the friend? Of course. Of course I did. But Tommy didn't stop. He started that talk, all strange eyes, offering me the golden coins or nuggets, whichever I wanted. Where did they get nuggets anyway? And not just that, when I told him who did the job, he just nodded in assent. Yes, of course, he thought so. And could I set it up so a certain moneylender was removed from the district at the same time? Of course I could, and he nodded at the guards and smiled. They looked disappointed. Two weeks after that, Two weeks. After that, the gold, all that gold, and an alibi for Needlin. It could be arranged that a friend of his, a local property owner, would testify after the killing that I'd been drinking with him all along in the corner. As if they'd let me in there otherwise. Well, that's most of it. Of course, a good alibi is, is a good insurance, but in this line of work, it's better to have more than one. So Tommy, I'm sure, did not object to my watching his business most carefully for it. Turns out he likes guests, and not just this landlord guy, but many more, always making sure to buy something before leaving. I saw when one was hurrying away and dropped a small package. Couldn't investigate because Tommy was already on it, paler than moonlight, scurrying back to his own shop like a thief. Sure, he had his reasons, and surely if those reasons became known, someone high up would take note. Implicit in murder and conspiracy? Not my idea of a conclusion, and sure as the builder himself, Brewster didn't enjoy it. Found dead in a sewer? Not appealing either. What I need is a good alibi or two. The thief who robbed me will yield one. 
and Tomlinson's house another. He's away on business and the guards should be asleep. Only the two plotting killers out by the storefront. But who needs the storefront when I can have it that much better? Alright. So, Tomlinson the armorer was behind this. It appears Mr. Tomlinson is hiding something important. Break into his shop, and if you find something interesting, deliver it, deliver it to the appropriate authorities. Tomlinson was aided by your landlord, steal the key to his apartment, and rob him of his belongings. One of his precious collectibles will do. Oh, this is getting uh, more, uh, more interesting. We've already broken into Tomlinson's shop, so that should be, hopefully, you know you can't hide forever. pretty easy getting back in. Alright, he's coming back inside now. He's actually on his way back. Let's just get ready to shoot him. No, oh, he's running away again. As soon as he's only an arrow at me, run away again. What a coward. Yeah, stick in yellow belly. Where do you go right after that, anyway? Can't hear footsteps either side. Well, if I just wait in the dark, he won't, have, he won't get a chance to see me, right, when he comes back. Should only take a minute before he decides to uh, come back and see if I'm gone. I'm not kidding. Come on out. Damn it. Alright. Uh, so, Tomlinson's is down here. We're going to head south from the square again. Um, There's probably going to be Amazon girls in here now. Okay, I can hold. I can keep my bow out here and not be seen, but there is a little too bright. Good to know. Come on back. Timsy. Yeah, I should uh, knock him out and feed him to the necromancer. Take this. Well, he's dead, but there's a guard. All right. North is not the way I need to go anyway. So as soon as that guard decides to go back around on his business, I will head. South. Come on, sir. Come back. Only because I'm afraid he might see me as I pass the lamppost. Right, should be good now. Now we do need to keep our eyes open for Mr. Latin Man, who patrols the very way that we want to go. I think. Oh, no. he patrols this way. We want to go the next doorway. I'm gonna go that way. But there'll be more guards on the streets, and I'm still mostly dead. So that uh, note also gave me a warning about two tough guys guarding Tommy's shop. But uh, lucky for me, I've already knocked them out and put them to sleep. Wait, hang on. I found a back way into Tommy's shop as well. It's just down here, wasn't it? Um. Yeah. Was it here? Yeah, it was here. Alright. Can't hear anyone. So apparently. Uh, bring to shop if you find something interesting, deliver it to the appropriate authorities. So, what would I find here that wasn't here before? God, training dummies nearly scared the shit out of me. I thought it was a guy. <laughs> right, we don't need an exploding barrel in our way. So I thought I'd looked all over this place before, but I guess... I guess not. I guess I missed something. Would it be in his shop, or would it be his 
kitchen. Some plates. Nothing. Guess we look out for switches and passageways and all sorts of stuff that I wasn't really uh, searching for before. It's unlikely to be anything in this guard quarters, right? Just guards. And then there's a way. There's a back way. Oh, that's right. The stairs. Anything under the stairs? So these boxes that don't move. Right, so he's got two rooms up here. Suspicious painting, maybe? Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Nothing up here. Door doesn't open. Here's his balcony. Uh, there's the vines up to the next part of the shop, but it's all open. I've unlocked it all. So I can just go up the stairs. Safer with my kind of uh, help. What's that noise? Oh. Let's try putting this out, shall we? Can't. I mean, this is suspicious, but it's not. As far as I know, it's not what he's after. <laughs> that just goes down to the next layer. The window doesn't open. So what am I looking for in a shop that I haven't already found? So I came in here and there was some uh, loot in the chest and I took it. Uh, that's blood from Mifflin's, right? That's got nothing to do with the armor. Power station note, tip. High gate note, no. That's the notes I got from Tim's. Oh, the Book of Smash. The Book of Smash <laughs> I picked up here. Uh, deliver it to the appropriate authorities. Oh, at the Hammer Chapel, there's the, uh, that little slot to drop, uh, donations in. I guess I need to deliver them this book. But how are they going to know where it came from? Um. Where, where was the donation, donation slot? Over here, I think. I think it was there. Ah, I guess we're gonna have to break the streets again. That's alright. Uh, if I go out his front door, it should be closer. Well, hopefully, there's not too many guys around. Alright, so if we head east, we should find a way. Now the question is, are the hammers just going to attack me on sight? Because it kind of feels like the thing they would do, you know, I'm a thiefy sort of person. Wait, is it east or is it south and east? Uh, could be either, given this map. It's definitely not that way, that's the way it came, that goes back to the tomb of the uh, necromancer. So it must be south here, and then east. Well, not here, that's, uh, Armscape. Uh, west. East. East, west? Wait, that's Armscape, that was, I was going east. Oh, I'm confused, I'm conf oh, I'm all confused. It must be this way. I guess I'm, I hear a, a hammer, so it must be the right way. Oh yeah, here we are. Wait. 
Yeah, he's coming after me. I was gonna say, uh, you know, are they actually hostile? You know, you never know. But of course, just my luck. Where's my, where's my bloody flash bombs? Take that. Oh, that's a nice dark spot. You can stay there. All right. There's the one on top, but uh, there's the one at the front gate was the the hardest one to uh, get past, I think. Down at the seminary. No, there's a way up to the top, because the... Oh, God. There's a way to the top from up there somewhere. Which is where I need to go. Because that's where the donation box was. It was upstairs somewhere. What's, what's this? Maybe up here. This does have a way to go. Let's keep on going. Oh, that's right. The foundation is weak. Do whale and national teeth. Yes. Both. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone or flesh. Alright, I think I can probably use up a few what arrows here. Too. I thought he was closer than that. Where is he patrolling? Oh, he's going a long way. Alright. Uh, seven still. Let's do it. Use another one. Why not? Why the heck not? Oh, uh, I didn't even see that torch either. Not very dim here. Should be alright. As long as his friend doesn't see the body from that distance. A priesty dude there. One more water arrow. So I can sneak in perfect darkness. Right, priesty friend is probably not going to bother us. I don't need to knock him out because the uh, the box is just there. I just need to find the book of smash and wait for him to turn his back. Come on. Alrighty. We found something interesting and delivered it to the hammers. They can go investigate Mr. Tomlinson. Uh, and steal key to my apartment. Uh, to my landlord's apartment. My landlord was where? Stoll Court, home turf. So I could go all the way back there. Alright, I guess I can come back this way. I'm, I'm nearby. I'm just over here. I guess that's what I'm going to do. Back down. Get on the compass before we get lost. So we want to head west and south. More or less. So west is gonna, here is going to take us back. No, wait. Oh, yeah, west here is going to take us back to Tomlinson's shop. Ah, uh, here we are. That's nice arms gate. And so if we head around carefully, because I don't know how many more guards might have turned up to patrol these streets. So if we head around this way, we should be heading back slowly to our home turf. What's this place? I don't know, but we've got a fork in the road here. We want to go the northern side. Alright. I thought I saw a switch there for some reason. Getting, getting near. I'm hearing yelling. 
Something must be happening. No. Certainly more guards around than here before. It pays for all these guards anyway. Hello, sir. Oh, he's my landlord. Alright. That's convenient. Just walks right by me at the right time. As long as he doesn't come back or forget his key. He can go off to the pub for all I care. Where did this guard go? Hmm. Uh, I was too bright in there. I feel like if I just run in, I'm just gonna get seen. Ooh, there's another one. Where was our landlord's place here? Um, not the map's gonna tell me. God, oh, that's right, we came here before. I didn't even realize this was my house. It's a problem with starting somewhere that isn't your house. We knocked out the guards that were here before. And now we got these ones. And that fellow, if I'm much mistaken, he's got a helmet that means I can't knock him out. Brilliant. I don't have any gas arrows. Alright. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. Hello, welcome back to Bad Debts. We're here at uh, Stoll Court, trying to break into our landlord's place to uh, relieve him of some of his stolen goods by, uh, well, stealing them back ourselves. Alright, who's making the rack? First, let's, uh,. Get these guards out of the way. And let's see if I can creep up in the darkness past this guard. A little too bright for my liking. Hopefully he's not really alert. Guess that big fat helmet he's got on, which means I can't knock him out. Uh, also blocks his peripheral vision, so that's, you know, yay. Uh, I wonder if that is actually a thing, that'd be interesting to see. I should I should look them up in the editor to see if they've got less peripheral vision because they've got the stupid helmet. Alright, somewhere in here was our landlord's apartment, which was a door we couldn't open. Must be this one. Yep. Alright, where's the key? Where's the key? Alright. Uh, thanks Katsuki uh, in chat who pointed out that I started this uh, recording with just um, with that overlay still over the screen. Which is a bit silly. It's not the first time either. Uh, so I just replayed about 30 seconds worth of gameplay. What have we got here? A toilet! Very, very pretty much I really don't like. Does everybody have just like a long drop in this town? Like, there's no flush, right? I don't have flush toilets yet, so they've just got a big stinking hole full of poo in the middle of their house. It's probably why that stuff was kept outside. Alright, we've got a library. What's his diary? What's his notes? Landlord's notes. Finally found a, ten a new tenant for the hallway room. Name Mello. No recommendations or known warden, but clean and respectful. Why is it that those who inhabit the most affordable premises are in turn the most reluctant to pay their dues? In any case, I am clear of Krenner and good riddance. That idiot Wedry has done it again. The cheapness of the gin and the manner in which he had disposed of it speaks clearly of his character. Street scum all of them. Fifty coins for the new carpet. At least the merchants on Stone Market are reasonable. The new fire poker arrived this day. It was just like I'd spotted it at the usurers. The wait was inexcusable, but the fellow insisted he would have to take the customary time. Ha! As if his clients could pay the margins he asks. At last I found out more about this Talbot character while haggling for a valuable ancient brazier I've been considering for a time. It was not hard to observe our friend entering the user's shop looking nervously for trouble. I swear he jumped a little when he saw me right as he was unloading two golden candlesticks on the counter. Talbot, or shall we say Garrett, proved surprisingly malleable. He accepted his new rate without a blink. Clearly a hardened criminal of his type shouldn't complain. After all, the risk of harboring fugitives is considerable, above all, taking into account the watch station across the courtyard. It is unlikely I could get to Marcus, as he must pay premium to a warden. 
probably Ruben or Aputa. Finally brought the brazier for a steal and a purse of incense from that little shop down beggar's take. It's hard to express what filth it costs one who would brave those streets. Nevertheless, the day's labor's over, a hot bath and a few hours of gentle relaxation are at hand. Acquired the bottles of wine, not much time before all would have been gone. I'm positive it was the last batch. And to think someone else could have ended up with it. I need to tell Tomlinson what he missed. I can hardly believe there was a time when I was drinking the sort of swill being served in low-class talents. Standards change with fortunes, I suppose. Who knows, I might even try and find a suitable wife someday. Garrett agreed to the latest race. I wonder if I could go a little further still. Maybe 800? Better wait a few months in any case. There's no reason to be foolhardy. If I raise on Wedwee next month and mellow after, I can still afford that new painting. And maybe even some other bauble if I bargain right. Tomlinson's proposal is another interesting possibility. I'll lose a steady revenue source, but the payout will allow me to move against Flutter and corner the downlock market. Either way, the painting can be had sooner or later, through the appropriate channels. I wonder if our new acquaintance will be up to it. I'll need to ponder the question. And what's his book? Wedwee 300, Credit 200, Talbot 300, Smite 300. Yeah. Oh, Credit went down. 100 last morning. And there goes Krenner, and now it's Melor. Ah, uh, look, he just doubled my rent from 300 to 600. Extra charge for Wedwee for damaged premises for uh, vomiting on the carpet. 700. God, this, this landlord is really uh, ripping me off. So, I'm gonna rip him off. Bookshelf. Bad. Chest. Let's unlock that. Come on. Come on. There we are. Got some loot. It's not all, surely, but uh, uh, we've got some of his precious collectibles. What's in, uh, what's in this room? Well, this is his uh, brazier that he was trying to collect. Ah, oh, his fire poker and wine bottles. I'm not sure if the bottles are worth anything after he's finished uh, drinking it, but you know. Maybe the bottle itself is made out of gold. Alrighty, um. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that either. Will it catch fire? No. Nope. Was there anything on the fireplace? Did I check? No, I checked and there's nothing. Alrighty, we're still gonna get back past that guard. Ooh. What's that glyph? That's new. Beyond. What? Beyond what? Why do I keep just leaving glyphs for me? Cryptic glyphs in my own house. It wasn't there when I came in. What now? This is unsettling. Let's get flash bombs at the ready just in case he sees me on the way back down. Don't think he will. I've still got one now. Ah, uh, he's still blind. Alrighty. Now, where am I trying to get to? Leave downlock corridor. The only way I know of doing that is out through the high gate, which uh, is to the north, I guess. Off this way. Uh, which I unlocked earlier, so it should just be a straight run, just avoiding any random people in the streets. I do wonder about that uh, uh, keeper cliff, though. That's beyond. What does it mean? They're just trying to warn me uh, that I'm not, I don't know, not beyond their uh, reach after I've just broken in and stolen all the money. Oh, there are guards. My footsteps are going, not coming. Wait, what? You were unconscious, Mr. Rich Man. 
Maybe maybe he just went running off before. Maybe I didn't knock him out. Well, I knocked him out this time. My God, there's been a murder. Oh, there's someone else. Oh, is that my landlord I just knocked out? Who's this other civilian? What? Did he? Oh, was that him yelling out as he saw the bodies there? I think it's my landlord. All right. <laughs> All right. Which way from here? So can I head east? Uh, up, up that way. That's right. That's the way that Lantern Man patrols. So I have to be on a little bit careful. I'm the kind of flares. I don't know. The uh, sorcerer's tomb. Uh, that's the low courts down that way, I guess. I don't know. Uh, this way leads. Yes, yeah, so it's here and then north out of here. I haven't seen Latin Mountain. Oh, there he is. Good. Good, he's out of my way. Should have a pretty straight run here. Make it all the way to the gate earlier. Uh, just last episode. So this is going to be pretty short. I might just stick it on the end of the previous uh, recording, I guess. Any guards? All right, there's one archer up here that I have to look out for. So I need to get to. Wait. Uh. Is that the gate there? That might be the gate there. What if I just run for it? I lost. Here's an arrow for you. Aha! Success! Alright, well, uh, that was bad debts. Uh, we got double crossed. We uh, killed the guy who double crossed us. I'll teach him. We robbed uh, Mr. Tomlinson of everything he had in his shop. And uh, then. Gave some incriminating evidence of his to the hammers, so he should be in hot water. And we uh, stole all our landlord's uh, belongings that he had in his house. Uh, and then we just ran into him and knocked him out later on as well, just for extra benefit. So they'll all learn not to uh, double cross guards. It's a total of uh, three hours and seven minutes. We missed almost a thousand loot. Uh, we got one airborne pickpocket, yay! And, uh, no secrets. Oh, there aren't any secrets listed in the mission. Alright, so it was bad debts. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next fan mission.